Hello, pick breakers and sheet punchers. Today I'm on my uh, little test uh, server here, and uh, I have a project I want to show off. So let's get this started. That was two L's, by the way. So that's my project. <laughs> it's a uh, 16 segment display with a memory, with a, um, a 44 bit memory attached to it. All right, I'll give you guys a quick tour of it. I, I intend to do like, a, like a, a fuller tutorial on some of the different elements, but the whole project took probably, well, more than 12 hours. So I can't really do like a whole project tutorial on this one, but I can show some of the elements. So I'll be back. One second. All right, we're up here at the display. This uh, front part is just a white wall, and the letters are made from the res the parts of the letters you can see are just recessed, and that is accomplished by using pistons. And you can see the whole bunch of pistons back here, more than I care to think about. And the whole, just the whole bunch. Yes, yes, lots of pistons. And then uh, from there, it is wired up to the memory unit. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, here is the memory unit. This is a um, piston-based memory unit, and it works wonderfully. It works really well. Though I think some of it's not loading like it's supposed to. Yeah, there we go. So you can see how it's moving all these blocks through here. Let me, uh, let me stop that thing. Okay, it stopped. Each row of uh, cloth or glass is a single row, a single uh, byte in the memory and each block is one bit. And this is uh, this one is 16 wide by 44 bytes, I believe. So it's 44, uh, 44 rows and 16 columns. And it goes in a big loop. Um, this right here is the beginning, is the last part of the word everybody. And um, the way it kind of works is that each of these bytes corresponds to one of the segments on the 16 segment display. So at any point there's a glass piece, it turns that segment on by retracting it. And uh, let's look at the insides here, some of the mechanics, so you can see what's going on. So each piston pushes its row, and these these fire off sequentially. So that way it doesn't um, get out of control and start pushing in random directions. Jump up in here. Do -do -do -do. And this is the core. This is the, the timing unit that runs all of it. I'll throw it on here. It's almost unbearably loud, <laughs> but that is the that, that is the um, that's the timing, and it runs everything here. So each each side goes to one of the pistons. All right, let's. Um, I'm gonna go up to the top. Well, not to the top, but I'll. Uh, where am I gonna go? I don't know where to go. Okay, here we go. This is the power for the reading for the reading element. For the memory reader. Let's hop on over to the other side. If I can do that. All these uh, wiring here. This is the bus that goes from the memory to the display. And this is the memory reader. See everything here. This um, see this row of this row of cloth right here is complete cloth, so it means the entire display is off. And so if I were to throw a piece of glass in there. Now this segment of the display, which I have labeled up top, is segment number six, which is the top right portion of, of like a Y. It's that segment. I, I kind of have these level, labeled arbitrarily, so if there's electronics uh, major out there who's going to yell at me, please don't. <laughs> please, please forgive me for uh, denigrating your profession by screwing up the, <laughs> the segmenting of the display. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's like it just cycles up, and each row brings a new, you know, new display on there. I could slow down the timing of everything. It's really easy to change the timing, so each letter will be displayed for longer. Um, you would just there's a time there's a piece on the uh, cycle, in the inside cycle that you can time. And that's about it. Like I said, I'm, I'm gonna make some. Um, I'm gonna make some. Uh, oops, oh well. Some more videos based on this project. I'll show a quick project on how I made the display 
go from um, bottom up on that, or at least, you know, not, not the whole thing, but at least a portion of it so you guys get an idea of how I did that. And then I'll show you guys how I made a smaller version of the um, of this memory unit. The, the gigantic version here just takes a really long time. And the wiring is just tedious, but obvious how wiring works. And um, you can see some of our other projects we have going on right now. And uh, those will be for other videos. All right, have a nice evening, everybody. Let me know if you guys have any questions.